Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. This is Q, and I am here to check the temperature for my beloved Scorpio. See what's coming and going out going on. To all of you who may be new, I am Q. I am also a Scorpio. I am Clair Audience, so I listen to music and I incorporate those messages into the readings. This is a general reading. So eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. This is also timeless. So whenever you find yourself clicking on the video is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, our angels, uh, our ancestors, excuse me, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, I created to shine a powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition and the discernment of my cards. I call upon Archangel Mikael. Archangel Uriel, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. And so it is. So mo to be Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Right now we have Mary J. Blige, Be Happy. And um, she says in the lyrics, all I really want is to be happy and to find a love that's mine. It'll be so sweet. So some of you just want to be happy. Some of you are happy. I feel like a lot of you aren't playing when it comes to your happiness. I feel like right now a lot of you are really focused on improvement focused on your happiness, focused on doing what's best for you this time around. I feel like a lot of you have learned from past relationships, past connections, um, not to put yourself in the back burner, you know, not to put others before you, not to put other people's happiness before your own happiness. I feel like many of you have learned self-love, self-care is what makes you most attractive. And you are all focused on what's going to bring you joy, peace, and happiness in this next junction phase and stage of your lives. So that's beautiful. So let's go ahead, cut this deck, see what's coming in, going out, going on with our beloved Scorpios. And to all my return viewers, you already know what it is. Love is love is love is love. So we have action here. So a lot of you are taking action. A lot of you are being proactive. A lot of you are going after what you want. This is like, you know, she's shooting this arrow. So it's almost like, you know, you're setting your goals, you're setting your attentions and you're going after what you want uh, triumphantly, assertively. Um, and I feel like whatever it is you're going after, you're going to hit your mark. Um, this is also about shooting your shot. Um, someone may potentially be trying to shoot their shot with you uh, and perhaps that will make you happy. Um, maybe someone is realizing that you make them happy and they're wanting to come in and shoot their shot. I feel like there's some sort of movement, um, forward movement. I feel like um, after things have been stagnant, I feel like there's this progression. Things are kind of like moving forward. Um, and I'm feeling like it's, it's, it's in reference to like passion. Um, you know, what you're passionate about, whether that be love, whether that be something creative, business, career, moving forward, your family, your children. Um, it's like you're taking action. You're not letting anything hold you back. And the position of her body is she's going into the future. So it's like she's taking action um, to go after everything she wants to ensure that she's happy to ensure that so this goes right it's correlating with you know the song be happy you're taking action you're taking risks you're being daring um you're being bold um and fearless nonetheless and you know the way this horse is moving so it's almost like you know how powerful you have to be to, to be able to like be shooting an arrow while the horse is galloping so it's as if you're like, you know, this is skilled, you know, I, I was just reading on, um, these, um, this ancient, um, this ancient, what was he? He was an emperor in, in, uh, Asian culture and they were speaking to how, 
um, you know, speaking to some of the practices and techniques that these soldiers, that these, that these um, officials would have to master, like they would train children starting from like nine all the way up and they would have to become marksmen, you know, uh, in order to be, you know, a part of the, um, you know, the, um, that military, that military group. And so I feel like with what this is saying is like, you've mastered something, um, and you're taking action, whatever this is that you've mastered, it's like, it's guaranteeing, you know, some sort of success because you're being, you know, assertive. So you're going to hit your mark. Um, we have compassion here on the bottom of the deck. So a lot of you are not, um, I feel like you're not judging yourselves anymore. And if you are, I feel like the divine is telling you not to judge yourselves, to be more, you know, to be more comfortable, you know, not comfortable, but more patient with yourselves, more patient with others. Um, we have You Called and Told Me by Jeff Red. So someone may call and tell you something. See this? It's like, you, 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 what was I saying about you being wise? It's like you're very intelligent. Like you've learned so much. You've like mastered some sort of skill, you know, and um, I, I, I didn't explain, you know, what I was trying to say as eloquently as I wanted to, but it was, I was just, you know, reading on this, this emperor and how he ruled and the techniques and skills that, you know, his marksmen, that his soldiers had to acquire in order to be, you know, or, you know, in order to be a part of that militant, that military, um, team. So it was like, this is just, you know, also, you know, uh, veggie backing on the point I was making. There's a lot of wisdom here. You know, I feel like there could be some sort of, um, you could, you could, you can sense that there's some form of communication coming in because what I feel here is like one bird looks like it's about to take off or it could be landing depending on how you see it. Um, so this could be like incoming communication because you already have an owl here. So I feel like somebody else who also is just as intelligent and the song you called and told me is playing so i do feel like you have some sort of intel coming in some sort of communication coming in um and it's from someone that you may have set a boundary with someone that you may not have been in communication with you've been kind of protecting yourself uh because you've been doing a lot of work you know you don't get to this card of wisdom you know unless you've been really doing your due diligence and being really um proactive and you know, focused on your goals, focused on, you know, manifesting whatever it is you're, you're looking to, um, bring into fruition. And I feel like, you know, a lot of you have been definitely, uh, you know, utilizing your skills and, in, in co-creating with source, with universe, knowing your powers, knowing what you're capable of. Um, but I do feel like there's a level of, um, manifesting, I feel here also that you're, you know, you're kind of surrendering to, you know, what may be coming in. Maybe there's some news coming in and maybe, you know, after you hear what this person has to tell you, you're going to kind of let your guard down. You're going to surrender to whatever you're feeling in that moment, whether it is to hear that person out or to express your feelings, like to, to give someone a chance to just let you know what they're feeling. Um, because this card is like... You know, these are two whales and whales, you know, they represent intuition. So it's almost as if you are picking up intuitively that this person is coming in in good faith. Like they're not coming in to stir up drama. Um, this person is taking a trip to see you because I see this little canoe, this boat here. So it's, it's almost as if this person is traveling. Um, maybe there's going to be some sort of... Um, arrangements to come and see you because you know I feel like you let your guard down after this person expresses what they feel because you're wise enough to discern when someone is duping you or trying to manipulate you emotionally psychologically um so I feel like you know you kind of let your guard down you're not going to be as defensive I feel like you uh put up your guard initially because maybe someone was playing a lot of games but there's definitely an energy of someone wanting to shoot their shot 
I feel like you're going to do, I feel like you're going to take a risk. You're going to be fearless in this situation uh, because I'm seeing here that you're surrendering. And it's because you may be noticing someone's change. Um, like I said, there's two birds here. So there could be a, an Ellen energy of someone mirroring you, someone who's also been through, you know, similar experiences have also gone through, you know, similar karmic relationships, completed those and has evolved, you know, more wise, more in, you know, more understanding, more self-aware, more emotionally intelligent. Um, but I feel like this change also is speaking to the change that you have made um, and also outgrowing um, a certain belief system or maybe outgrowing um, certain people. And now there's this this change to where you're attracting people to you that are on your same wavelength, your vibration. Um, someone also has gone through that. I feel like this person has noticed your change and they feel you're beautiful. We have Snoop Dogg, beautiful featuring Pharrell and Charlie Wilson. So this person is definitely noticing um, how gorgeous, how beautiful you are, the changes that you've made. Um, and they understand, you know, it's almost as if this, and it was 11, 11. Um, so this person understands um, the reason why you put a guard up, why you set healthy boundaries, why um, you may have blocked them, blocked communication, uh, because you were growing, you were healing, you were mastering yourself. You were changing. You were evolving. Um, you may have gone through major transformations. Things in your lives have shifted and changed. So you had to adjust accordingly. But this person recognizes the changes and they find you to be very beautiful. So that's beautiful in and of itself, Scorpio. So good job with that. So we have perseverance. So you have persevered. Um, and it, this is very incumbent of, you know, the many changes, you know, the many trials, the many, you know, trials and tribulations you've had to overcome, the turbulence, the difficulties. You know, if you look closely, you know, this, this sprinter, this jogger, this, this powerful divine feminine here is still jogging, you know, and she's been jogging for miles. And if you look, she's jogging on, you know, She's ha she has this handicap, but it, that's very, very telling of how, you know, if you think you're handicapped, if you think there's something wrong, then there's something wrong. She knows she's strong. She knows she's able. She knows she's capable. You know, it's like this. She's she's persevering through whatever physical ailments she may have been born with, whatever defects. Um, and she's been given this ability to still do what she may be passionate about, contrary to the fact of whether or not she lost her leg, her limb. You know, she was given another opportunity to be able to just let the wind blow in her hair as she does what she loves. And I feel like this is what makes you beautiful because you've persevered. You know, even when things looked daunting, even when you couldn't even see, you know, you couldn't see your way clear, you still held on to faith, you remained optimistic, you know, you leaned on your strength and you pushed through regardless of how it seemed, regardless of how difficult it could have been, how painful, you know, I know it's not easy running on, you know, these, um, I forgot what you call, um, I know it's like, a, um, I can't remember what they call it, but they, you know, it, it, this is just a beautiful, beautiful um, depiction of strength here. And I feel like the divine is, is definitely um, acknowledging the strength, you know, the courage, the wisdom it took for you to continue to push forward. And I feel like that's why you're surrendering, because you realize that someone um, is being you know, sincere when they tell you that you're beautiful and they start to express to you why they feel you're beautiful. It's, it's, it's deeper than just, oh, you're beautiful physically. They're, they're going to give you some reasons um, because they've been taking note. They, they notice the change in you. Um, we have cleanse. So many of you, I feel like during this full moon, many of you may have been doing a lot of um, cord cutting ceremonies. Many of you have been doing spiritual baths. 
um, just to kind of like release this this past person, this ex, this karmic relationship from your energetic field. We've been picking up on exes and, you know, karmics for the past 30 readings. Um, and it's been longer than that, you know, but I don't want to embellish any more than, than I may have already, but it's just like that energy is constantly showing up in your readings. And I feel like a lot of you are just tired of dealing with that X, that tired of dealing with that past energy. So many of you could be doing things so that you can kind of finally, for once and for all, get this person out of your energetic space. And um, many of you may have been working with this full moon. Um, and you may still be working with this full moon, you know, the full moon seven, uh, seven days leading to and seven days after um, you could still work with that, that, that moon energy, that lunar energy, um, because we know, you know, as above, so below, as within, so without. So the, the moon represents manifestations, cleansing um, and purging also release. It's like a big release. So the things that you've called in, they start to come. They start to manifest, but also the work that you've been doing on yourself. I feel like you're starting to see the changes. I feel like many of you have also been like purging, decluttering, cleaning and clearing your home, smudging, washing your floors with Palo, uh, I said Palo Santo, with Florida water. Um, a lot of you may have been using, you know, rue um, herbs to, you know, kind of, you know, fill the space, you know, the aromatic um properties to you know purge any negativity out of your home but i definitely feel like with this energy of cleanse many of you have been really cognizant of the fact that cleansing is necessary um to get energy you know certain energies that are no longer serving your highest good just kind of out of your frequency and your vibration uh, we have the isley brothers living for the love of you so yeah so someone may be coming in that's going to absolutely speak the same love language that's going to come in and this is going to be the last card um while wow, cleanse came right back out see that so this is beautiful uh 17, 17 on the clock right now so yeah and that reduces to 88 88 reduces to 16 16 reduces to 7 so i feel like um there will be some sort of communication as i was picking up on um, maybe there's telepathic communication. Maybe you're dreaming of someone. Maybe someone is showing up in your dreams. Maybe someone is visiting you um, through astral projection, uh, astral, you know, projection, like meaning via your dreams. They're kind of like, you know, spying in on you. Um, I am sensing that maybe someone is releasing uh, someone else from their past. Maybe you're releasing someone from your past and um you know, once you do, I feel like you're going to attract someone who's coming in with the right intentions. And um, I feel like this is someone that you've like, you know, you definitely have been kind of thinking about praying for. Um, I don't know if it's anyone specific. It could be. Um, but it's definitely an energy of someone who will be mirroring you in terms of um, self mastery, self growth. Um, someone else who's a like mind, someone who's also been doing their internal work, who's been healing at a soul level, who's also had similar disappointments and trials and tribulations in life, but they've overcome those as well. So that's beautiful. So let's go ahead. Um, I'm going to pull some messages from the numerology. So we have on the bottom of the deck nature. Many of you love to be out in nature. Many of you go out See that abundance? So a lot of you got some abundance coming in, maybe during that 8-8 portal. A lot of you are manifesting. A lot of you are calling in your manifestations and you have abundance coming in, abundance of love, abundance of happiness. I feel like many of you like to go out in nature. You take nature walks, nature talks, um, and you may be planting your feet in the ground to connect. Um, it was just 1919, 1010. So yeah, I feel like a lot of you have uh, released a lot of negativity, cleansed yourselves. Uh, you may have received downloads. Also, a lot of um, transmissions come to you when you're in nature. You see a lot of animal totems. You have a lot of um, beautiful, magical encounters out in nature. And I also feel like you... Um, you really heal in that element, you know, that is your element. 
I feel like it definitely puts you in a higher vibration. Just being among, amongst, you know, all of the trees, the grass, the flowers, the animals. Um, just being able to see the butterflies flying, the grasshoppers. You know, as soon as I said that, there was a, a butterfly that just flew by my window. As soon as I said that. Oh, wow. See, I, I just love that. So let's see what just flew out. And we have pride and we have relationship change. So I feel like there's going to be. Um, and when I see and, and, and because that butterfly flew by when I was speaking of certain animal totems and beautiful encounters, um, relationship change, transformation. Um, that's what tr the butterflies represent, change, transformation. So I feel like there's going to be a positive uh, change for a lot of you who are single, which most Scorpios that are, you know, tuning into the channel are single. They're not in relationships. And I feel like you're attracting someone who's going to be living for the love of you. Um, and I feel like, you know, for many of you, um, the death, you, I feel like you were dealing with someone who's very proud, very egotistical. And that could be why maybe there was no, um, there was no love connection. It was almost like unrequited love. Um, but I feel like there's, you know, a sense that, you know, you're moving away from that. Someone was definitely up in their head. Um, and this, you know, you can't connect with someone who's not willing to be vulnerable or willing to express their feelings or willing to share their thoughts because they want to have this facade. They want to come off as, you know, Mr. Macho or they want to come off as the ice queen. It's like, you know, Scorpios are very empathic. Scorpios are emotional beings. And we, d you know, you don't want somebody soft. You don't want Mr. Softy. You know what I'm saying? But you do want someone who is intelligent emotionally. Um, and we have you too. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. So someone who's been very proud, who's been very egotistical, um, may have lost you because they're looking for something external to themselves. And I feel like that's kind of what blocks them, hinders them because they're looking, they're being very superficial. Um, many of them are trying to fill a void by some external source, but it's something that they have to do internally. And it was just 2222. So that's four, 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 four represents eight. Eight is the, uh, infinity symbol sideways. Eight also represents abundance. Eight also represents forward movement, infinite, infinite possibilities, limitless, um, you know, potential. So someone didn't see their potential. Someone didn't see um, the potential, perhaps, in the relationship they had with you because they was looking for something more. And, um, you know, everything that they needed was there. But I feel like for you all, because this is 56, this is the number 11, um, you know, perhaps, you know, you you all are becoming more in tune and in alignment you're map you're more balanced um and it's because you were dealing with someone who may have you know come off really proud may have come off very like i said like you know trying to be you know mr macho trying to control trying to um katara what are you doing <laughs> that's my kitten Hold on. Let me let her out. She wants to get out. Sorry about that. She was like, can I please get out of the room? Um, but yeah, and she she has this bad habit of like digging up um, my rug. She has ruined all of the rugs around my door trying to get out. And I didn't want her doing any more damage than she already did. But anyway, back to the reading. So, so yeah, I feel like somebody who was very proud, you know, definitely... Um, may have ruined the situation and maybe somebody's wanting to come back. Um, somebody's wanting to come back and communicate um, because they, they, they're they searching outside for something that I feel they need to look within um, for, you know. So they, they, they definitely are not going to find, you know, what they're looking for, for ex external to self. We got individuality here and, um, you know, that's another 11. So we got 11, 11 here. 56 is 11 and then we got 11 so maybe someone was um needing some time alone uh maybe they were being influenced by you know the wrong people um you know allowing other people to um to influence them in negative ways negative influences uh pressuring them to do 
a, you know, behave a certain way. Um, you know, maybe, you know how these, you know, a lot of times, you know, people get influenced by their friends. You know, sometimes women could have a bunch of chicks around them who's like, you know, just, just always hungry for attention. So they want to go wherever the fellas are at and they'll encourage you to go and be in these places where single people roam, you know, and it's like, you're not going to find what you're looking for at a bar. You're not going to find what you're looking for at a freaking, you know, restaurant, you know, it's just because everybody there is on the hunt. So it's like, and they're on the hunt for one or two things, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's definitely not long-term commitment. So it's like, I feel like whoever I am picking up on, you know, this person was just, you know, heavily influenced by their friends in a negative way where their friends would encourage them to go out and, you know, meet other women knowing they were in relationships. And so they was doing things that was kind of like, and, 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 and instead of apologizing for those things, they, they kind of like, it was like even, you know, right, wrong or, in, in, you know, right, wrong or indifferent. They, they just refused to apologize for it or take onus for it or accountability. Um, and so I feel like you just, you know, you just couldn't deal with it anymore. And a lot of you with that relationship change chose to just like disconnect. Um, and that's why you had created a boundary um, while your guard was up. But I feel like you're attracting someone else um, who's coming in. But you needed to go through that to learn your worth and value. And I feel like regardless of how difficult things got, you still persevered and you remained focused on what you wanted. But someone was just like, they, they weren't strong enough. They didn't have any real, um, they didn't have a backbone. Like they didn't stand up to their friends. They allowed their friends to encourage them to do things that was, you know, not in their best interest. So it ultimately cost them you. Um, and it caused them a lot of disappointment ultimately, because I don't feel like anything that they were dealing with anyone in particular they were dealing with was like good for them either. So it was just like when you drink in and party and, and you're not making the best, you're not making decisions based off of, um, you know, you're not using your moral compass, if you will. Um, you're just doing what's, what's fun and what's, you know, what's good in the moment. So it's kind of like being impulsive, not really thinking things through, you know, so, but on the bottom of the deck, this is the overall energy. We have love partnership. So what was I telling you? You have love coming in. Someone is definitely coming in to shoot their shot. They're taking action. This is falling underneath action. So, and I feel like you all are going to be daring. You're going to be willing to take that leap of faith with this person because I feel like whoever this is with this 26, this is eight. This eight represents, like I said, infinite possibilities. This is forward movement. So someone is definitely coming in to shoot their shot because they're looking for the same thing you're looking for. This is a blue card. So there will be an expression of interest, an expression of attraction towards you. Um, there is someone coming in. We have little Kim playing, hold it now. So I feel like this person may have been holding this in. Um, they haven't been really expressing this to you. Maybe some of y'all are going to be shocked, but, um, but we see that this person is very adamant on shooting their shot, uh, because this is something that they know that they want. Maybe they've been holding this in for a while. Um, and because of, you know, the lack of communication and because of the distance that you all created, uh, they're now realizing in your absence, just how strong their attraction, their feelings are towards you and for you. Um, so I do feel like there is going to be some sort of movement, some sort of forward action. Um, and we have moderation. So 14 reduces to five. So someone's feelings have changed, um, and this is the green. So I feel like someone's feelings for you, someone's emotions have grown. Um, they're becoming very aware of that because we're about to clarify this wisdom card. So with this green card, which represents the heart chakra and this 14, which reduces to five, someone is changing their perspective. And remember, I felt like with this, you know, this um, owl, which is, you know, both of these owl totems. Um, remember that that's dual energy. And remember the 1111 11 showed up. You had individuality and then you had relationship change. Perhaps someone 
that is coming in was also tying up a relationship, which is why the two of you are mirroring one another. And I was picking up on that as well as, you know, as you attracting someone who is, um, you know, very much on the same wavelength. They've been through the same um, hardship, you know, hardships. They've been through the same emotional loss. They've experienced the same pain. They know how to deal with you. They know how to handle you. And more importantly, they see you because they also have endured those same difficulties. And this person is expressing something to you. They want to come in and they want to express something. They want to, um, maybe they're expressing, you know, how their feelings for you have changed. Um, but I feel like this is beautiful here. So why is wisdom here for what's coming in for Scorpio? Let's check the temperature for our beloved Scorpios. Look at this. Can't make this up. New beginnings. Number one, someone wants a new beginning. Someone wants a new opportunity. Because as I was saying, I felt like someone was wanting to express their feelings um, and express to you what they've been feeling. Because maybe they've come to this realization like, damn, Scorpio is absolutely what I need in my life. I do feel like with this new beginning, this is someone from your past because they want a new start. They want to, you know, they may want to, you know, apologize. Maybe if things didn't work out in the past, maybe this is like an associate, a friend, someone you could have worked with. Um, but I am feeling like this is someone you have um, a pre-existing connection. Maybe there was always this chemistry, always this this feeling like that was the one that got away and maybe they're returning. Uh, because as I said, you could perceive this owl as taking off or, you know, simply um, as he's taking off or he's about to take flight. I mean, as he's landing or he's taking flight. But I feel this this new beginning is someone really coming to the realization that they want a new start with you. They want to come. And the song that's playing right now is Case Happily Ever After. And this was the song where Beyonce um, was in the video. And so, yes, yeah, someone is definitely seeing you. Um, they say they want this new beginning. They definitely feel very passionate about you and they're very attractive. You know, they're very attracted, excuse me, to you. Um, you're sexually attractive to them as well. And this one, you know, represents like a phallus as well. So they can definitely be very, you know, hot and passionate about you. Um, I feel like this person listens to music. Um, a lot and it reminds them of you. I feel like the divine is also telling me to, you know, hone in on this song that's playing, which is case happily ever after. So this person like envisions marriage with you. They envision building a home. They envision having, you know, you know, some sort of emotional investment with you building like that happy house, happy spouse energy. They speak the same love language. This is someone who, you know, because you two have not communicated, it's like songs remind them of you. Um, maybe there's been songs that have been playing uh, heavily in rotation as of recently. And it's almost like pulling them, you know, out of their comfort zone out of this this hermit mode to come towards you to express to you these feelings to tell you that they want to solidify this connection ship take it to the next level have some sort of you know some sort of um partnership with you um but yeah so this 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 music is changing someone's perspective and again this is another orange card and i do feel like you know they're, they're realizing um Maybe their passion, their attraction towards you is real. So why is boundaries here? Why is boundaries here for with the temperature check for Scorpios? Why is boundaries here for the temperature check for Scorpios? Why is the boundaries card here? All right. They want all of those. Do we want those? All right. I heard take them. So we're going to take them. So we have love. See that? So this person rep realizes that they love you. Can't make this up. Happily ever after playing by case. And um, and we have boundaries. So you've set a boundary. But this person is realizing in your absence that they love you. That you're their divine feminine, divine masculine. They're realizing that, you know, um, they want to communicate this. This blue card represents the throat chakra. So they want to express to you how they feel. 
They want to express how painful it's been being, you know, away from you, not being around you, not being able to communicate. I feel like they enjoyed the conversations. They enjoyed the way you made them feel. I feel like this person needed to figure out who they were um, because I feel like perhaps maybe they lost themselves in relationships, which is why, you know, they had to kind of go through what they did. Um, maybe this person was codependent. Um, in their partnerships and they needed to learn to stand alone um, But I am feeling because this is the 1111 um, Or this is the number of 11 this person may realize like you are their divine feminine. You are their divine um, Counterpart um, and they can foresee marriage. They could foresee children. They could foresee building a home building a life together they could foresee um, being your support system, being protective of you. This person loves you. We got love partnership and they want a new beginning with you. And the song that's playing right now is I'm Yours. I'm Yours by Jason Mars. And so this person is like, yo, I'm yours. Follow your dreams. So the divine is telling you to surrender because many of you have been praying, wishing and hoping for a divine partner like this. A lot of you have dealt with such toxicity in your past relationships that, you know, you only want someone that's going to come in and going to express themselves in a way that's going to make you feel safe. You know, you don't want to deal with someone who lacks emotional intelligence who's very proud and egotistical, who doesn't allow themselves to be vulnerable in their partnerships. You don't want to deal with that. You want to be able to rise in love, not fall in love, but you want to rise in love. You know what I'm saying? You want to be able to trust your partner so that you can surrender, so that you can be soft for the divine feminines. You know, masculines, you want a female that you feel you can be vulnerable with, not someone who's going to make you feel emasculated because you are expressing your feelings. You know, not someone who's going to be like, shut up, bitch. Oh, bird ass chick calling you a bitch because you're emotionally intelligent. You don't want that. So the divine is telling you, follow your dreams, follow your dreams, because they're going to lead you exactly where you are. I mean, where you desire to be. And the way that you do that is by surrendering, surrender to this love that's coming in this partnership. Because this is something you all have manifested this. This 85 reduces to uh, 12 and 12 reduces to three. So I definitely feel like a lot of you have been manifesting this person. A lot of you have been, you know, speaking what you desire into the ethers, into the universe, wishing on stars, praying, sending up petitions and prayers, speaking daily mantras and affirmations, writing in your daily journals, your meditation, um, you know, your manifestation journals. You've all been, you know, utilizing this power because this is a magical being. She is the alchemist. She co-creates with source, with universe, with the divine. And so many of you have been manifesting, you know, real love. You've, you've set a boundary because you don't want false love, false flames. You don't want, you know, that incubus, succubus energy. You don't want someone who's deceptive. You want someone who's going to love you. And with this song, I'm yours playing, I feel like your dreams are coming true. And you're going to have to be able to be receptive, you know, be open to receive it. Because someone's coming in that's absolutely you know, your divine masculine, your divine feminine. And I feel like they're at a distance and they may travel to see you. The two of you may make a, you know, may take a trip. We have abundance. See that? That 8-8 eight eight came right back out. So many of you are receiving recognitions, rewards. This money card, this abundance card, this has come out for you all these past couple of readings. So that tells me you all have done the work. That's why all of this, this financial security, financial freedom, stability, abundance, you know, you all are, you've worked hard to receive this and the divine is rewarding you. So you have abundance here and you're going to have abundance in love. This is a pink card and this is the 88 again. So that's also forward movement. That's the infinite supply, limitless possibilities. Like this is pink. That also deals with the heart chakra. So you're going to have abundance of love, abundance of abundance of, you know, security, stability, prosperity, financial freedom, 
you're going to have abundance of all of the things that you've asked for. And it's because you've persevered through some difficulties. The things that were very difficult for you to get through, you've overcome them. And we have Shaba ranks, don't test me. And that's what she said, don't test me because I'm going to prove you wrong every time. When you count me, wrong, when you count me out, I'm going to prove you wrong every time. When you lack confidence in my ability, I'm going to prove you wrong every time. She persevered through everything that they, you know, every obstacle that was thrown at her. She, she freaking hurtled over that shit. She leap, leaps and bounds. Even with this so-called handicap, she persevered and she's booking it. Her hair's blowing in the wind. She ain't just jogging light. She's on some 15 miles per hour, probably. <laughs> That's cheetah status. I ain't, you know, she ain't going that fast. But I mean, you know what I'm saying. But this is like pushing past, you know, all of the haters, all of the naysayers, everybody, you know, saying what you can't do. You like a word. Let me show you what I'm made of. And this song is Don't Test Me by Shaba Ranks. I could be as good as the best of them or as bad as the worst. So don't test me. That's what she's saying. And that's what you're saying. Don't test me. And because you've persevered, you kept your eyes on the prize and you getting, didn't get sidetracked, didn't get distracted. You know what I'm saying? Because a thing can only distract you if you give it your attention. That's why this abundance is coming in. And not only is it abundance of in, in, in love, but it's abundance in all that you dream of, everything you've desired, because this is what you've manifested during that 8-8 portal. And those blessings are coming in now. So, well, let me give you a round. <laughs> this is a round of applause. Good job, Scorpios. Forgiveness. So, yes, with this cleanse card, forgiveness is here. So that's what you're doing. You're cleansing out that old stagnant energy of that past love, that person that hurt you. Remember, I was picking up on the fact that a lot of you were doing cord cutting ceremonies, kind of releasing someone from your past because energetically they're still you're still carrying them in your spirit because a lot of you were done dirty. You was done wrong. You were betrayed. You were abandoned. You were cheated on, lied on like a lot of you was done dirty. But you got to realize that you are the conduits of change and you transmute negative energy. And that's exactly what you're doing here. You've, you know, you're cleaning and clearing and cleansing. You're purging what no longer serves you. That full moon, y'all was doing like, you know, release ceremonies during that full moon. And the divine is helping you to with forgiveness because forgiveness is always for you. And when you learn to forgive, that puts you in harmony. That 96 reduces to 15. 15 reduces to 6. 6 is the number of harmony, the number of balance, the number of being in alignment, oneness, wholeness. So that's what you're doing. Through forgiveness, you're in balance. There's going to be perhaps an apology because this is a blue card. So that's that throat chakra again. Someone may communicate and apologize, you know, and it's because this person is recognizing how strong you are. Realizing they should have never tested your ass because they failed that one miserably. Doubting you. See that? Synchronicity. A lot of you may be seeing synchronicities. I caught a lot of them during this reading here. So a lot of you may be catching synchronicities. That's 18, uh, that 87 reduces to 15. 15 reduces to 6. So that was, it was just 43, 43 as I'm speaking to 16. So, I mean, synchronicity. So this 6, 6. A lot of you could be seeing 666, but this synchronicity card is telling me that there's a lot of things that are happening. Um, so pay attention to the signs, pay attention to the synchronicities. You may be seeing certain symbols. You may be having certain dreams. You may be seeing certain numbers. You may be seeing certain um, animal totems. You may be hearing certain songs because remember music. So a lot of you may be seeing, hearing certain songs play and it's because the divine is communicating something to you or perhaps someone that you are manifesting is receiving certain signs and synchronicities that they need to, you know, take some sort of action. But we have change here. And so there's positive changes that are coming in. And I feel like it's because you've done what you needed to do to release, you know, old energy. 44, 44 was just on the clock. So many of you, and that's that beautiful, powerful, um, angelic number there. Hold on one moment. Sorry about that. But yeah, there's positive changes that are coming in. And it's because 
you got rid of some sort of stagnant energy, some sort of negative energy that was kind of holding you back. We got Mother Mary on the bottom of the deck. So we do know that like there is some sort of um, wish fulfillment coming in because we do have new beginnings. We also see follow your dreams. We also have abundance here. We also see synchronicity and we have the wisdom card, the perseverance card, which is showing that, you know, regardless of how difficult things, you know, you know, gotten, um, you still kept going, you know. And so, you know, when you are in those moments where you can't see your way clear, the only thing you can lean on is your strength. But your strength comes from the divine. Your strength comes from your angels, your guides. So a lot of you were sending up those prayers and asking for the strength to get through, to persevere through those difficulties. And so that's why Mother Mary is here saying that there's going to be some sort of wish fulfillment. And we have um, Fabulous playing Bite. So yeah, you, you expect a miracle um, because there's wish fulfillment coming in. So, wow. Okay. So we have Irene peace. So a lot of you are going to be at peace. A lot of you are going to be very, um, very satisfied with this new love that's coming in. And there's nothing for you to worry about because the divine is sending this person in. I feel like the divine is absolutely sending someone to come in and communicate with you. Um, I feel like a lot of you also got some folks who are trying to like duplicate your style. So be mindful of what you share with people. Don't let everybody know, you know, what you got going on, because I feel like people are like kind of watching you from a distance. I get like stalking, you know, online stalking, watching. If you do, a, if you have a lot of like online activity, like if you have social media and it's just open to the public and you're posting pictures, posting, you know, some of the trips you're making. If you're like very revealing about what's going on in your life, like most people are nowadays, I would suggest you kind of hold back from doing that. Everybody should know what you're doing. Never let your left know what your right is doing, especially when you know you got a lot of evil eyes lurking. Scorpios, y'all got a lot of people that are very jealous and envious, you know, and I feel like intuitively you know that, but you also need to know that some of these people um, definitely don't want to see you you know prevail and they may be trying to steal your ideas because fabulous is playing um bite and it's it's an acronym for bitch i'm trying to eat so you know bitch i'm trying to eat bitch i'm trying to eat um every single day each and every night bite that's my word um so yeah so some someone could be trying to like bite your style bite something you're working on bite something that you're mastering i don't know what it have because you got follow your dreams also here so if you are working on something creatively keep it to yourself don't let everybody know what you're doing don't let everybody know what you're working on because some people could be just trying to duplicate your style is what i'm picking up many of you are counselors your healers um, you also have uh, Rhiannon, Sorceress. So we already know you're magical. We already know um, that you are master manifestors, that you are, you know, procreating with universe, that you're co-creating rather with universe and that you are uh, utilizing the elements of water, fire, earth, air and ether to do so. But you also know how to utilize um, your focused intention to manifest what you desire, um, which is why you have this wisdom. Because, you, you know, you're tapping into ancient knowledge, ancient wisdom. Um, and this is, you know, absolutely how one manifests by utilizing that energy. Um, but we do see here, you know, guiding children. Many of you are mothers and many of you have um, children that you're heal. You know, you're helping to heal through, you know, some sort of separation, um, you know, some sort of divorce some sort of dissolution of a marriage, you know, you're helping your children to heal through that pain. And the divine is very proud, very pleased because you're wise enough to help them through that. And I feel like there's this new beginning. A lot of you packed up and moved away from toxicity out of your lives. And so, you know, your focus, your main focus is your children, helping them to heal. And you're utilizing all that you've learned um, to do so. A lot of you I'm hearing you've broken uh, generational curses. You're like the only one in your family that's like, you know, doing things completely different. Um, you've always been that way. This is nothing new. Um, and this is possibly why some of y'all may have been like, you know, the black sheep. You've been that black sheep, that odd man out 
all of your lives never knew why but now you know why and it's because you thought differently um you wasn't like you know a damn sheep you know, you wasn't just going along to get along. You wasn't just following. Um, you've always been leaders, even when you couldn't un understand it. You know, I feel like you always did what what you felt was best for you um, in terms of, you know, speaking your truth and, and standing in your power against those um, within your own family dynamic. You know, so we have toast by coffee. So a lot of you are going to be like celebrating uh, because this love that's coming in, you know, we're going to clarify this message, but this love that's coming in, they're going to like, you know, some of them may propose. Somebody may propose. So we got Rian in here. So many of you are definitely manifesting like, you know, a divine masculine to come in someone that you really, truly, um, you know, someone you could grow old with, you know, and you all are. You know, masculines are manifesting like a divine feminine that you could grow old with. Someone you could trust. See that? Be bold. Freya. Someone is going to be bold. I feel like someone is trying to, to muster up the courage to come towards you. You know, and I feel like the divine is also telling you, like, when this person comes in and expresses these feelings, let your guard down slowly but surely. Be willing to take a risk. You don't have to be so guarded, you know. Because this person is coming in for the right reasons. And I feel like you're going to be like, I'm hearing celebration. I'm seeing champagne glasses, toast, you know. So it's like they're going to, you know. So stay grounded. Because, you know, as you healed yourself, I feel like you, you, you also kind of triggered or activated someone. So they want you to surrender. So follow your dreams. Follow your heart. Follow what you feel. Why is surrender here? Yeah, there's a golden opportunity. Mama Yemenya, which is, you know, this is beautiful. She is blessing you. She's one of the beautiful Orishas. She is the mother. So she's bringing you. Look at this. We got all of this water. This is all the same colors, you know, just in different tints. But it's all showing that there's like love coming in. There's a cleansing. There's there's a healing energy. Someone's coming in to heal you. And you had the song Toast. So you're going to be like celebrating. This is like, you know, this 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 golden opportunity is being sent directly, like I said, from your angels and your guides. And it's because you've persevered through some difficulties. You remember you had expect a miracle. And so you have to surrender. You have to be receptive and you have to follow your dreams, follow your heart. Because this is something I feel you all have manifested. So some of you may need to sit in silence and meditate. We have Dwelle, Love Ultra. You may need to meditate. You know, take some time. Many of you t were in this hermit mode for a while. Which is how you were able to persevere through some things. Because you were able to, you know, see your way clear. You know, that hermit is very, um, you know, he's very wise. And he goes within to to find the answers, to figure which direction, you know, which course of action he should take. And I feel like, you know, with this quiet time, it allowed you to contemplate on, you know, some sort of action you needed to take or some sort of um, some sort of decision you needed to um, to make. And I feel like it's in regards to love because with this pink, like I said, that's like the rose quartz color. That's the color of the heart chakra as well as green. So I do feel like, you know, with love ultra, you've you've persevered through some pain. You know, you've persevered through some pain because you really loved someone very deeply and they did you so bad and they did it with not a care in the world. But I feel like through taking the time to heal, to address, you know, to address the pain, to do that inner work, that soul work. I feel like you were able to discover the, the root cause of the problem. And this changed your vibration. Look how her vibration has changed. Your auric field has changed. And it's because you realized your power. You realized how strong you were. And you took it back in that moment. And so that's why this abundance card is here. Because during that 8-8 portal, a lot of you... 
um, you know, we're working on manifestation rituals and calling in the energy of healing. And I feel like a lot of you have done just that. So we have e e Unak, easy does it. So many of you, you know, you had to be patient with the process because, you know, uh, good things take time to create. But we also have to know that like divine timing is of the essence. So whatever you were going through, um, it was all meant to teach you um, how to be strong, teach you how to lean on your strength, teach you how to, you know, demand your respect because ultimately we teach people how to treat us so when you have a lack of self-love a lack of self-care um and you show people that you're going to overcompensate then they feel like they can come in and take advantage and with this song love ultra i feel like it's really truly um speaking to how you gave so much of your love to someone like you love them you know beyond measure and um you didn't really get anything from it but what you did get from it was you learned, you know, to love yourselves first. You know, self-love makes you more attractive. And that's ultimately what, you know, the goal is. A lot of you need to step outside. Remember, nature showed up. So go outside, breathe some of that fresh ass prana. Breathe in that fresh prana. This will also, this is what she's doing. She's outside. Some of you may need to jog, may need to just kind of, you know, get your, get your um, blood flowing, you know. Go outside and walk, go outside and jog, roller skate, ride a bike, but get out of your, your element, you know, get out of the home because, you know, when you're indoors too much, shit starts closing in on you, start getting stressed out. See that transformation. So many of you have transformed. Many of you have, um, definitely have come out of, um, a, a, a karmic situation stronger and wiser. And these butterflies are very powerful and very indicative of change. So there were some changes, but these changes is what has catapulted you to becoming the best person, the best versions of yourselves. And I feel like you have a lot of blessings coming in, especially with golden opportunities, especially with expect a miracle, especially with, um, you know, the abundance card. So the purge, this is releasing, letting go. Many of you with this uh, cleanse card is also speaking to doing spiritual baths, as I said earlier, you know, cleansing yourself. And we have the song, um, You Move Me by Cassandra Wilson. Yeah, so someone definitely, their energy tends to shake you a little bit. You know, you're still picking up on someone's energy. So you need to purge them. You need to release. You need to do a spiritual bath. You need to get them out of your energetic field. Because they still shake your spirit somehow. They, you still get annoyed. You still get aggravated. Your spirit gets, an, gets aggravated around them. Or maybe theirs get aggravated around you. And it's because you burn sage. Maybe someone doesn't like when you burge, burn sage or Palo Santo. They hate the aroma of that. That's very indicative of someone who could be in a low vibration, who could have a lot of demons, energies. We got Isolt, undying love. So, yeah, see this? And it says the love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation. So a lot of you are trying to release some, some sort of past love. You know, and it's because you love them deeply. This could be the father, mother to your children, someone that you've known since childhood that you were in a relationship with for years. And it's kind of hard to release that connection because of all the seeds you've planted, because of all the roots, you know, that you all have grown. But it's like you if the, something doesn't if it isn't working in your favor, it's not. It, see, look, unconditional love. So this there's there's this deep love, this deep soul connection i'm hearing past life connection karmic connection for many of you this could be a twin flame but the two of you are on two different paths you could love someone without need, you know having to be with that person but the divine is telling you the most important thing is the, the the forgiveness you have to forgive you have to be able to forgive someone so maybe someone is going to come in and forgive ask for your forgiveness because they love you and the divine wants you to love yourself and others, um, no matter how the outward appearance may be. And this one says love you've shared is eternal regardless of the situation. Let me get one more card. Let me get one more card. 
Why is cleanse here and undying love? Thank you, spirit. Compassion. So they want you to um, release judgment. That's what I'm picking up. Release judgment. And you're strong enough to do so. This person taught you how to stand in your strength and your independence. Um, and I feel like a lot of you realized how strong you were after dealing with this person because they've done so, so much. But I feel like the divine doesn't want you to judge this person because this is the person that brought you to your light. You know, so forgiveness. They brought you into balance. They brought you into harmony. So let's get some messages. Pick up five cards so on the split yep someone was trying to breadcrumb the divine feminine you got the six of pentacles and you have the empress so this is what the divine is telling you to forgive someone was trying to breadcrumb you along treating you like an option and how do you treat a divine feminine like that the empress see that now they're regretting their actions that's deep remorse remorse and regret and we have nothing like loving you so someone realizes nothing like loving you. They're getting this epiphany. I feel like you've cut that person off, cut that energy off, set a healthy boundary, created a safe space. You've had to become independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant all on your own because you had nothing to lean on but your strength. This person may have abandoned you with that five of cups that showed up. Third party shenanigans definitely betrayed your trust, stepped outside of a partnership. And you had a lot of difficulties, um, you know, dealing with that. I feel like you were broken hearted. Look at that heartbreak. Someone came in between this connection through some sort of third party shenanigans. Somebody they may have met at the job. This person's realizing now there's nothing like loving you. So let's cut the deck. Got a Marie, nothing like loving you. So the bottom of the deck, we got the hermit. So yes, someone has taken some time to evaluate the situation, to go within, to reflect, to introspect. The hermit is a wizard, so he knows the answers he seeks are found within. Someone has shut everyone, everything out, created a safe space so that they can hear their own thoughts, not be, you know, fluttered with, you know, or flooded with other people's opinions on the matter. I feel like there was a lot of um, grand epiphanies, a lot of truths that came to light. Someone was definitely juggling a divine feminine. We saw that penny pitching, bread crumbing, not giving enough. Someone was confused, conflicted. Divine spirit of love and light. All right. What's the temperature for our beloved Scorpios? So we have the star. And that's exactly what this hermit is looking at into this lantern that's what's lighting this lantern is the star so this is like bang bang boogie right here so someone's recognizing that you are a star recognizing that you have star quality that you are beautiful that there's nothing like loving you your vulnerabilities was absolutely your star quality that was your superpower you also are a master manifester co-creating with universe with source you are an airbender you're highly intuitive you're very balanced emotionally. You've purged, released, let go of anything that no longer serves you. This is a very powerful card of healing. This is also a card of praying, wishing on a star. Remember, expect a miracle. So all the prayers, petitions you've sent up are coming in. There goes your energy right there. Very loving, very caring. But you have your chalice closed. You're not open to love because you've been broken hearted. You're thinking about the past, dwelling on the past. Someone that you love, you've created a space. There's a boat there. So there has been distance created. You were in a relationship, a partnership where you were giving more than you were receiving, overcompensating. This is not delegating, not giving, you know, not um, demanding that someone carry their load. You was doing everything. Someone's now realizing that you were a wish. You, you know, you were wish fulfillment. You were powerful. The temperance card is also... The same air energy of Unak, which was letting you know that you have to do it, you know, take it easy. You don't have to rush. Someone wants a new beginning. Someone wants to come in. I feel like with this Trinity card here, this is man, woman, child. So perhaps this is someone you could have been in a marriage with, a partnership with someone who definitely, um, or maybe this is just someone from your past who wants to reunite. Someone you could have part, you know, worked with in the past. Someone now realizes your worth and your value. Someone recognizes that you are valuable. Maybe someone is ending a partnership, releasing someone that they could have been married to. And now they're realizing they want to come towards you. 
someone wants to collaborate, someone wants to build, they want to reunite, they want to connect with you. And we have Nas Cherry Wine. And we have the Two of Swords. So someone was very indecisive and we have the Chariot. So one's trying to make a decision on how to come towards you, how to push past their fears. I feel like this person, like I said, was mirroring you in regards to, you know, having to learn from the past pains that they've endured through relationships, you know, through partnerships that were not, um, that did not end the way that they wanted. And there is this, this guard, you know, you've set up guard, you've set up a boundary. This person realizes that. And we got cherry wine on. And this is by Nas. And so it's like someone's realizing, you know, look at the five of wands. So someone knows they brought a lot of burden. They brought a lot of drama. They didn't take action when they should have. They played a lot of games. This is like, you know, wanting to change the situation. Maybe someone received a dose of karma. What goes around comes around. This is also someone getting some sort of epiphany and um, wanting to come forward. Things are moving forward. Maybe this is things opening up. You know, the will is turning in your favor. So maybe there was some sort of karmic justice or maybe this is the end of a karmic cycle. But I feel like, you know, with this wheel, things are, you know, have the potential to turn in your favor. Um, why is the star card here? But someone was definitely healing from some sort of, you know, this is like combative energy, challenging. And so they're reflecting and they're looking back perhaps even at their own behavior you know, maybe healing from whatever they were going through. So we have the uh, Knight of Pentacles. So someone who has, you know, absolutely, you know, taken their time to come in. They, they recognize you for who you are. Yeah, so I'm listening to Nas's lyrics. And it's almost like, you know, she's saying, where is he? The man who is just like me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's what this person was saying. Like, they recognize that you're just like them. They see you as the star. They see you as someone who is emotional, who's vulnerable. And you, you, you don't, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you're not afraid to be your authentic self. This is the most vulnerable a feminine can be is naked. And so they know that you have, you know, you bear your soul. What they, what they see with you is what they get. And so I feel like this person, you know, wants to invest long term. They take their time to get it right because they don't rush in like the Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords. This is someone who takes their time because they want to invest long term. They want longevity. This person sees the Two of Cups with you. This person absolutely loves you, Scorpio. You know, and you may not recognize it because you're still like licking your wounds and healing and you have your guard up, you know, and you're not really opened you know, to this connection uh, or you're not really opened as you should be. But the divine was telling you to like open up this golden opportunities here waiting for you. And you have someone. Look at that. See that love. So this is like someone who's speaking the same love language as you. This is someone who's just um, as emotionally intelligent as you. This is someone that you've manifested. And you have the um, king of cups. Look at this. Can't make this up. Your twin flame. King of cups, queen of cups. Pour a little cherry wine. That's what y'all going to be doing. Y'all are going to. And remember I was seeing like, um, you know, before I was seeing like the champagne glasses. This is what you both are doing. Y'all are coming into union with your divine masculine. And this is your karma. This is what you've earned. You, you Like when you do good, when you put good energy out there and you remain on your square and you remain just then good things happen. I feel like this is a part of your karma. Everything's being handled fairly justly. I feel like there's news coming in. This person is going to, because remember on that card, the rendition of that card, he's shooting a bow and arrow, the same as here. So remember I was telling you, somebody's going to shoot their shot. And I feel like they're going to shoot their shot and they're going to express something to you in regards to how they feel, in regards to how they love you. And I'm seeing this um, hanged man here, the observer. So they definitely are observing like, you know, what this new beginning would look like, what it would entail, how they should approach it. 
if you look closely, all of these eyes, they're looking at all of the possibilities. They're figuring out like, you know, like what course of action they should take to come towards you. So why is this 10 of wands here? See that? They realize they caused a lot of burdens and they didn't like, maybe they're realizing like looking at things from a different perspective that they didn't um, invest as much, you know, that they didn't, they didn't give as much as they could have. They weren't as reciprocal, you know, they didn't reciprocate. They just kind of let you do all the work last time. And so maybe this person now is seeing things from a different perspective, a different vantage point. They see things from your perspective and there is distance. There will be communication. They are spying on you, watching you. They're keeping tabs on you. I tell you that. And the divine is telling you like, you know, divine timing is of the essence. So all of these cards just flew out and I'm feeling like I need to take them and I shall. So let's get these cards in order. So first card I see with the temperance, divine timing, right? So with divine timing, you got the six of cups. So this is definitely someone from your past. Remember that five of cups showed up. So that was someone who was regretting their actions in the past. So the six of cups is someone from your past returning, someone you could have known from childhood, someone you knew since you were younger. This is someone you always had a chemistry with, a connection with, but perhaps the timing was wrong. Um, I feel like with this... Uh, this is the Knight of Swords. They are going to muster up the strength to communicate to you. They were confused and conflicted, but they're going to trust their intuition. And I feel like they're going to, you know, take control of the situation, muster up the courage. We got juicy fruit. So there's going to be some juicy communication coming in. Um, and this is someone who wants to reunite with you. This is someone. Look at this. The Emperor and the Empress, the Queen and the Cup, Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. You can't make this up. So you have someone who feels that you're their divine feminine. You're, you're their divine feminine. And this is why you had love partnership here. Because these this energy is showing that you have true love coming in. And this is something you all may have manifested. They're coming in to work on this connection. Look at this. I can't make this up. The eight of pentacles along with the ten of pentacles. This is what they're coming in. That's why this knight of pentacles is taking their time. Because this is what they want. They're coming in to work on this connection. They see future with you, marriage with you, emotional contentment, financial contentment, building a legacy, longevity, family, household. Like this is this is the energy of like, you know, happily ever after long term commitment, you know, happy house, happy spouse energy. They were indecisive, but they're making a decision because they're trusting their intuition to come toward you. And it's because they're absolutely attracted to you and they don't want anyone else to come juicy fruit they want they i'm hearing gush like they they definitely wanting to see you gush and remember i was telling you there was an owl that was coming in to communicate and look at this here on this card this owl is like on this feminine's hand so there's a juicy information coming in remember this owl here is taking off or he could be landing that's what i was saying in the beginning well he's landing right on this empress's hand and remember the empress showed up in the other card you know when we first picked up the deck so this is your energy. You are the divine feminine. Your divine masculine's coming for you, Scorpios. The divine feminine's coming for you, divine masculines. And um, you better be, this is beautiful. <laughs> this is absolutely gorgeous. I love this because not only does it show how much you've worked, how hard you've worked to get to this point, but it shows that this person that's coming in is coming in and they mean business. They were matching your energy the whole way, matching your energy the whole way. They're not playing. They don't play when it comes to this love. They came out the gate talking about, yo, I'm going to shoot my shot. And you're going to receive some juicy information, some juicy intel, because they have this love partnership on their mind and they're willing to work for this. They're not coming into play. And they're also, you know, this is indicating that you're going to have financial stability and security. But this person is absolutely. And remember, I was picking up on the fact that like your angels and ancestors was conspiring behind the scenes to bring a partnership to you. That's going to absolutely like be your 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 love. Like and that's exactly what I'm seeing here. So Scorpios, get ready, get prepared. All of you who are doing your work, keep doing your work, because what you've called in, what you've asked for is here. It is here. 
So be open to receive. That's why the divine Mama Yemen Yah was saying golden opportunities. You got to be open to receive. Don't miss the boat. Don't miss the opportunity because you've transformed. And that's why this undying love is coming in. That's why the divine was telling you to forgive that past person. Because the longer you hold that past person in your energy with resentment, anger, animosity, the longer it's going to take for this real divine partnership to take place. So you got to forgive, let go, release. Love yourselves and others enough to know when it's time to walk away. But definitely be prepared because someone's coming in to shower you with the love you deserve. This is your reading, beloved Scorpios. Thank you for tuning in, tapping in. Until next time, I want to send a big fat ashe. And again, I want to say thank you all to those who have been donating. I appreciate you. You don't know how much I love you all. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And to all who are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. To all of you. I look such a discombobulated mess. I had to get my cards and okay, there we go. But um, to all of you who are new, I just want to say I hope that you stay a while. I hope that the reading resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, the subscribe, and definitely hit the bell notification so that you know whenever I upload. Until next time, Ashe.